Hi guys, in this video we're gonna talk about agency problem But before you watch this video, it's better for you to watch my previous video about what is finance Let's go back to agency problem What is agency problem? To make you understand better, I will give you this illustration Suppose you and your friends are the owner of a company of course as the owner you want this company grows bigger so it could give you higher profit continuously and the shareholder wealth increase that's why you hire a professional to be a president director to lead your business assume that this professional's name is mr james as the president director, of course, Mr. James leads the company. He designed the strategy for the business to increase the sales, to make the operational process more efficient, so he could fulfill what the owners want. In other hand, Mr. James wants to be treated so well by the company. For example, when he has business trip, he doesn't want to take economic class or business class flight, but he demands first class flight because he thinks that he is worth together. He also imposes some policy that give him a lot of allowance which is actually not too important. Imagine, if Mr. Jim has that such behavior, there will be much cost that the company has to spend. Of course, it will reduce company's profit and it is not what the owners desire. We can see here that is conflict between the owner or shareholder with the manager or director. The owner wants to get higher profit continuously while Mr. James as the president director tries to give himself the best allowance and facilities though it is actually not too important or I can say that Mr. James as the president director works in his best interest We call this as agency problem Agency problem is conflict of interest between principal or shareholder and agent. In my previous story, the agent is the manager or the director. There is also a term we call as agency cost. It is cost that may incur as the result of agency problem. Is it clear for you guys? Now let's talk about three types of agency problem that may occur in a business. First is agency problem between shareholder with manager or director like my previous story. There are some factors that could affect managerial behavior. All shareholder has to know this. First is that managerial compensation package. There should be incentive for manager on the basis of stock price over the long run. Some of the company give company share to the employee, we call this as ESOP, Employee Stock Ownership Program. So the manager or the director will feel that they are also the owner of the company and they don't run the business based on their own interest. Second is direct intervention from shareholder. Of course, if there is direct intervention from the shareholder, the manager or the director will be more respect and follow what the shareholders want. The third is the threat of firing. For they are worried to be fired then the manager or director will be more careful to act in an organization. Fourth is the increase of institutional ownership. So institutional owner will perform supervisory function in the company. Fifth is the use 
of staff. When company use staff, the manager or the director tends to perform more careful in spending their money. Why? Because if the company could not pay the tab, their position in the company is also threatened. That is the first type agency problem between shareholder and manager or director. Second is agency problem between shareholder and bondholder or creditor. Who is bondholder? So bondholder or creditor is the party where the companies borrow money from. One more time, bondholder or creditor is the party where the company borrow money from. It could be bank, it could be other financial institution, or it could be other company. Then what is the agency problem that may occur between these two parties, shareholder and also bondholder? Shareholder or stockholders are more likely to prefer riskier project because they receive more of the upside if the project succeeds. But as the bondholder, they don't want the company to take riskier project. Why? Because if the project fails, there is possibility of default. The company could not pay bondholder. That's why bondholder or creditor set fixed payment for the company. Third is agency problem between majority shareholder and minority shareholder. It is conflict of interest of party who have major share in a company, for example 40% or 30% with parties who have minor shares in a company, for example only 1% or 2%. Have you understand for agency problem? So agency problem basically is the basic financial problem that may happen in organization. As businessman, after you know this, so later on in your business, you can handle when this agency problem happens.